My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read my writing and to see my latest CNN appearances and my MSNBC and RT appearances, you can go to hagoodman.com. I'll be starting a new publication February 1st. You're going to love it. I have an article out in the Huffington Post today. It's titled, Bernie Sanders Should Have Been America's 45th President. Democrats Elevated Trump and Cheated Bernie. There's this notion that if you say among the Democrats, the Democratic establishment, if you say that Trump is illegitimate, that means he's actually not going to be president or that somehow he could be impeached because the Russians actually uh, helped fabricate uh, talking points. So crooked Hillary, if there's some way the Russians had anything to do with the phrase crooked Hillary or whatever, that somehow Trump will, would be impeached. This is all nonsense. It's nonsense because, number one, he won the Electoral College. If you didn't know, the kids in seventh grade know this. If you're not educated and you just didn't know, and you're somebody like Michael Moore, who doesn't understand that the Electoral College is what counts, not the popular vote, then you shouldn't even be running anyway. Hillary Clinton knew that she had to win the Electoral College. She lost Wisconsin. Wisconsin hasn't voted for a Republican since 1984. She lost Michigan and Pennsylvania. They haven't voted for a Republican since 1988. There's a reason there's a reason Hillary Clinton lost those states. There's a reason those states voted for Obama twice and picked Trump over Hillary. There's a reason. In addition to the FBI criminal investigations, in addition to all the issues pertaining to Bernie Sanders being cheated, people actually really didn't think she was the legitimate nominee. So number two, Bernie Sanders was actually uh, cheated. That is the DNC emails, we know that. So I'm gonna bring this up every day for the next four years. Bernie Sanders was cheated. Um, that is not, she's, Clinton was not the legitimate Democratic nominee because we know that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was fired, that Donna Brazil fed questions. We know all of this foul play. Whenever Democrats or the Democratic establishment commit some kind of corrupt behavior or activity they always say well that's just that's just politics if trump wins then it's well russia did it and putin's behind it even though bill clinton and this is in my article today received five hundred thousand dollars from a moscow investment bank for a speech where's the cia report on bill clinton's moscow speech that gave five hundred thousand dollars to him that was in the in a new york times article about uranium one that article is below so the next thing is this in terms of legitimacy if you win the electoral college you become president if in, a, in the primary race you actually cheat your opponent you are actually viewed as the illegitimate no nominee so clinton was actually viewed as the illegitimate nominee and that's why she lost because people went people either voted for trump most of the people who would have voted for Clinton, who didn't want to vote for Clinton, who were Democrats historically, voted for Jill Stein, or they didn't vote at all. Don't blame Trump or Bernie Sanders voters or me. Somebody to, the other day blamed me for Trump. I'm, it, I, it would be nice if I was that powerful, but I'm not that powerful. Nobody is. Nobody is powerful enough to have uh, Hillary Clinton not win the Electoral College, even though she spent $1.2 billion. That's on Hillary Clinton. That's on the Clinton campaign. When people say to me, well, focus on, focus on Trump now, because, you know, he is not president. He hasn't rolled back anything. He hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done we know that President Obama bombed seven countries. We know that um, President Obama did nothing for Standing Rock until veterans... Uh, came to the pro to the pro to the uh, to the battle, and then suddenly he did something. We know that President Obama sanctioned Hillary's private server. We know that from the WikiLeaks emails. We know that Obama, President Obama's un under his tenure, 
20% of U.S. uranium capacity was sold to the Russian government. So we know all of these things. In Libya, Honduras, we know the legacy of Hillary Clinton and President Obama. The point is, what's the point? The point is, when you look at the fact, when you try to say that somebody is not legitimate, you're really making a, an excuse for a loss that has nothing to do with the reasons why you lost. Look in the mirror, Democrats. What do you see? Do you see an illegitimate Trump presidency? Or do you see a Hillary Clinton that cheated Bernie Sanders? And or do you see a Bernie Sanders that would have won? If you see a Bernie Sanders that would have won, Democrats will win in 2020. If they see uh, another Hillary in 2020, another establishment, they will lose. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.